Hello and welcome to this quick pitch video on Robustel's new and unique 5G router, the R5010. So let's jump straight into the hardware specifications and the most obvious thing that you'll see on the top right here is that the CPU, RAM and flash um, specifies built-in RG520. And what that means is that the router operating system is actually running um, on the spare resources of the 5G cellular module. They're so powerful these days with um, so much compute capability to handle 5G speeds um, that there is ample resource to also uh, run robust cells with clever, with clever adaptation. There's resource to run um, robust cells operating system. Um, the Ethernet port is 2.5 gig, um, simply because, uh, believe it or not, a, a gigabit port could become rate limiting on 5G connections on this um, product. Uh, there's four antenna connectors um, on this, as is required for the frequencies for 5G, uh, dual SIM for redundancy, and there's several other specs that we can um, come on to in the presentation. So the one of the things here that can make it useful for easy uh, location near where, you know, somewhere optimal in a building where you get a signal is it's very small footprint, uh, it's lightweight, and it's PoE powered. So it really can, almost like a wireless access point, um, needs to be optimally located. You can have a similar concept with this small 5G um, product. It can be installed on DIN rail, um, there's a wall mount bracket, or you can do uh, all the usual stuff of desk mounted or even using Velcro, um, given that it's such a a small footprint and lightweight product. So this slide just shows a little bit more of the detail in terms of running the operating system, the router OS on uh, the, the module itself. So there's no requirement for an external CPU or, or circuitry or anything else. And there's quite ample resources, um, given the way that robust OS is designed, quite ample resources to um, add in other applications, custom applications, um, or anything else as required. And the the main ramifications of this design philosophy is uh, optimal price and optimal size. Uh, for the techies out there, um, this is the cellular module that the product is based on, uh, an RG520N. And so if you want to really dig into the details about supported bands, carrier aggregation, um, available drivers, etc., then by all means, feel free to do a little bit of homework on the RG520N. Um, powering options are very flexible as well. So there's a very wide 9 to 60 volt DC um, power supply if you just want to put the usual DC volts in. There is um, PoE which potentially is the most useful. So you can then really easily locate this device at the end of a run of 100 meters of Cat6 cabling to try and capture as much as that 3.5 gigahertz RF uh, as, as you can. And also um, for modem mode, there's a USB powering capability as well. And... If, if you did happen to plug these things all in at the same time, it's not an issue. They will be disambiguated um, and prioritized in order of DC power, power over Ethernet and USB. Now, this, this is a very important uh, thing that we've discovered in our applications so far in enterprise um, applications for 5G, so broad, um, primary or broadband backup is probably the most common um, where a diverse route to the internet is really becomes essential, but you don't want to pay a, you know, a vast amount for, for new infrastructure. So in router mode, this device behaves as a, as a normal natted router. In IP pass-through mode, 
um, you have the ability to to move the the WAN, um, the, the IP address for the WAN interface uh, up to a device sitting behind it. It could be an SD WAN box, could be a uh, just a any sort of branch office router, um, and so you can actually remove a hop, um, a route from a routing perspective, remove a hop from the architecture. And as we touched on earlier, there is also a um, USB modem mode, which is probably going to be favoured a bit more in um, some more niche or industrial applications. And finally, just a quick look at what's in the box. Uh, you get the device, a DIN rail kit, power adapter, um, four 5G antennas. So they've got to be the right frequency and there's got to be four of them in this product. So that's all included. And um, a global power adapter just to make life easy uh, if you're not sure where these are going to end up. So in summary, R5010, um, great new um, small form factor 5G router. And uh, we're very interested to see how it fares um, in broadband backup um, and failover applications. Now, 5G is really taken off around the world. Thanks very much. Bye for now.